movers and shakers. Welcome to the Six Figure Moving Academy. I'm Jay Burnham. Today we're going to be talking to you about choosing the right name for your moving company and its brand. Stay tuned. Guys, thank you for coming out to this video. If you're not yet a subscriber, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for being here. So today, guys, we're talking about branding your uh, moving company with the right name, right? And, and one, I, I just, I made a video uh, which talks about the four questions you should be asking yourself. Um, I will put that up here at the top. You can go check that out, please do. But um, I, I had to come up with, a, I'm rebranding my company because I, I went through this process here just recently and I wanted to share this process with you. Um, but I wanted to show you how I went about choosing the right name and I'm going to actually show you the name that I've chosen okay I'm actually gonna uh, give you that name that I've chosen but I want to show you the process I did of choosing the right name for the rebranding of my moving company so uh, we're gonna leave here and then we're gonna go to my desktop and I will be right back with you okay okay so here I am I'm at my computer now um, we're actually gonna do, go and I'm gonna show you how I chose a name so um, in a previous video which I've already given given you the link uh, I showed you the four questions that I use to to name my my company or how to get my brand of my company and the first question I asked myself is who is my ideal who is my dream customer and when I answered that question for myself I came up with the idea that the, my dream customer was somebody who was rich um, who made decisions based on quality and service and not money um, that could easily pay me and would have no problem paying me for the amount of service that I was going to give them and but they're also expecting the best service their kids probably go to a private school or uh, uh, or even boarding school or something like this um, these guys are executives in major businesses and corporations um, they they play a key role they're very active in their community they're probably sitting on boards uh, charity boards and community boards within the community um, their kids play uh, play at schools with uh, good sports programs and good educational programs they're and they're willing to pay for those versus uh, public schools um, so on and so forth they're driving the best cars they're driving you know Mercedes Benz, BMWs, Lexuses, um, even maybe even better than that Bentleys, and maybe they even got a sports car or two, like a, a Lamborghini, Lamborghini or or Alfa Romero or or uh, Bentleys or uh, Ferraris or Lamborghinis or whatever. You know what I'm talking about. So these guys, they have money. It's not about money who they're choosing. It's about the about the service. Uh, and they don't care about how much it is they just want to get it done and make and not have the stress of it so when I thought about who my top company I was like thinking about the names that would communicate those same um, principles those same ideals as what they're looking for um, so I made a list I went to um, uh, a notepad and I just wrote out some top names um, I just wrote out some names and uh, some of these are fun some of them are clever um, but I think all of them uh, would they're really going for the idea of loyalty dependability trustworthiness um, so when you say these names you're gonna see that it's gonna convey convey to the customer at least subconsciously loyalty dependability trustworthiness and, and top service okay so I, I just came up with some of the names and these weren't all the names but these are just some of the names I came up top dog moving I went with the dog theme because dogs are very loyal they're very dependable they're there no matter what they love us no matter what so I went top dog moving top dog relocation I went major league moving major league re relocation and I just made a list of all these names that I thought would be a good company to move right and um, one of the criteria I was going for it had to really had to communicate dependability loyalty trustworthiness um, high high quality um, but it also it, you know it also had to give uh, it had to roll off the tongue easily 
you see what I'm saying? It had to be easily remembered. It had to be, you know, clever, quick, but something somebody in the top of their mind could um, think about, like, right now, right now, fast, you know? They didn't have to go, what was that company you saved? You sa you save you save poles and parts or, you know... Uh, I save, you save, we all save, you know, none, none of that. It had to be very clever, had to be concise, poignant, um, uh, pithy, pithy meaning, you know, short and easy, but yet still convey top end, high quality, loyalty, dependability, trustworthiness. Um, so that's the names I came up with. And basically... How I became up, how I was, I chose these names. I would come up with a name. I would bounce them off off a friend of mine. I'd say, hey, what about this? Or what about that? And blah, blah, blah. And he would give me his two cents. And so I started, after I came up with the list, I started taking the list and I'd go, okay, good. Let's, uh, let's take Top Dog. And I would go over here to GoDaddy. Right? And I'd go, Top Dog, Top Dog Movie right and I would just hit enter and um, I would see if the name was available yes the name was available okay good so it stayed on my list um, and then I would take the next one okay top dog moving is available what about top dog relocation uh, right and I did the search on that yes it's available and I did that with my entire list if, if the domain was not available um, it, it went off my list. Um, yes, it, it went off my list, but there's one other step that I added to it. Before it came off, completely came off my list, what I would do now is I would go into uh, Google and I would go Top Dog Movie, right? And I would see, okay, good. We have Top Dog Movers, right? So Top Dog Moving, um, is kind of it's already being used okay it's not it's and the thing is it's top dog movers is like in my area <laughs> so that's that's interesting see they're in Wixom, michigan so that's like only about an hour's drive so i didn't want to get into a, a situation where our names were too similar you see what i'm saying so top dog can, comes off my list so i would take these and i would go on right all right so let's take the next one major league moving major league moving um and nothing comes up you got uh this on the facebook so i went over there and i checked out their facebook um and you, you could see that okay it's really kind of a low low person he doesn't have a, he has five stars but he doesn't have a lot of reviews um has no website, um, you know, and it looks like he's, it just looks like he's more of a labor guy. He doesn't, uh, doesn't have any kind of, you know, when you see this right here, there's no licensing number. So this guy's a rogue mover. All right, let's just face it. Let's call it, a, let's call a spade a spade. He's a rogue mover. Um, so, okay, good. So when I look at it, there's really nobody there, um, you know, Oh, well, here's something I didn't see in the first time. Major League Moving. Um, so he's got Complaints Board. Uh, okay. Absolutely the very best movers. Okay, good. So that's some good words. So somebody's already using Major League Moving. And then you got somebody here in Rip uh, Ripoff Report. Uh, Major League on. Oh, Edwin Bedford, a.k.a. Dr. Bedford. Ed is the owner and director, likes to call himself Dr. Scam Artist. From Okay, good. So you got, you got a guy who's thing, and he's been known to be, um, I think. So didn't like that. Major League Moving. Nobody has the website. We already checked that. Well, we didn't check it. So we, Major League Moving. So what happens? It is taken. So that name was taken. We we look at the we look at the the thing. Okay, that's not a name. We're gonna go and we're gonna get rid of Major League Moving. Okay, but then we got Major League Relocation. So let's go through Major League Relocation and see what's going on with that. All right, Major League Relocation is taken. 
Um, okay, good. So let's go and just do this. We don't want to. We don't want to uh, put ourselves in with Major League moving, but let's put ourselves with Major League. Okay, good. Uh, Major League. So everything that comes up at Major League, it's talking about Major League Baseball. So there's no Major League uh, relocation out there. So that's interesting. The name's not taken, but there's nobody saying Major League uh, relocation. So to me, that means that's an open name. So I'm going to keep that on my list. Okay. And then I would go down and I did that for everything. Good dog moving. So, okay, let's go. Good dog moving. And check that one out. Oh, yep, yeah, it's available. Okay, let's let's search out here. Let's let's do this. Good dog moving. All right, uh, moving with your dog. Okay, so that's an article about moving with your dog, moving with your dog, moving. Good dog's guide to moving. All right, so the, it's about all everything that pops up on Google right away is only about moving with your pet. It's not about an actual moving company. So that one would stay on. And that's basically what I what I did with each and every one of them. All right. I also did one step further. Um, and you could do this too. You could actually take all your names, uh, go to your Facebook profile, and do a poll on your Facebook uh, profile. And just put that, put all it says, hey, guys, I'm looking to start a moving company. Um, coming up with an idea. Here's my client. Here's the customers that I'm going for. Here's a few names, and then list out um, th list out all all of the moving company names that you came up with, and then you let your Facebook following uh, you you let your Facebook following find it. You know, choose the name, and and you could find out okay which which one comes out better. And I actually did that and. This one, actually, right here, good major league relocation, was actually the second best. The, the best one that had the most um, uh, stats was Century Moving Relocation Systems or something like that. And I looked on, and it didn't pass my GoDaddy and um, uh, Google test. So I chose not to do it. I did go to major league Ro relocation, and you notice that the, that domain name was taken? That's because I bought it. So I am going to be rebranding my new company called Major League Relocation. That's what I'm going to do. Um, the ideal, uh, I'm going to have a, a logo made up for it. The kind of logo I got up is basically based on similar, or what I got in my head is based on similar to like the NBA, baseball, Indy cars and so on and so forth, where they have the red, white, and blue, and then the white is a silhouette of a basketball player, or a baseball player, or tennis player, or golf player, and it's so it's going to be the red, white, and blue with thing. So the 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 thing that would be in a silhouette would maybe be a mover or a moving truck, um, and I think that would be a great logo. However, I'm not stuck on that. I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to go to one of these logo companies, like probably 99 Designs, and see what kind of logo I could get made up for that. But that's where I'm going with right now. What I'll probably do on the, an immediate basis is I'll probably go to Fiverr.com and just have fi somebody on Fiverr do me a real quick logo for Major League Relocation. All right. So that's that's it for this. Um, we're going to go, and uh, I'll be right back with you. All right. So there you go, guys. That is the process I use to rebrand my company. It's also what you could do. It's the same process that you could use to choose a name for your moving company. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight and helps you come up with the perfect name for your perfect clientele for your moving company. Well, guys, if this was very helpful, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Make sure you leave me a comment in the comment section below because this is how I know what kind of more videos you like and how many you're, you want, what you want to hear about. Also, make sure if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you do subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.